We've been trying for weeks, maybe even months, to have lucid dreams. And then it finally works. You finally break through. Or maybe that's an astral projection term. You finally become lucid. The doors open for you. You look down at your hands and you realize, oh damn, I'm dreaming right now. This is all in my mind and I can do essentially whatever I want. What do you do then? What do you do when you finally actually have a lucid dream? This coveted, elusive experience that you've been trying to attain for so long. What do you do now that you've actually got this experience and it's happening? Well, I'm gonna share a few things which will help you not only stay lucid for longer, but also give you some idea of what the hell you should do in this experience and help avoid uh, the worst scenario that you can possibly have, which is where you become lucid after lots of hard, hard work and patience and you just do nothing. You just walk around. Um, that's kind of a waste in my opinion. So here's what you do. First thing, the first thing you should do as soon as you become lucid, as soon as you realize you're lucid. Ideally, you would have just, just done a reality check and that should be the trigger for your lucidity. But if it's not, do a reality check. It can't hurt to do more than one reality check. I normally do two or three as soon as I become lucid, just to make sure, because if you're about to jump off a bridge and fly around or whatever, <laughs> you wanna make sure you're in a dream, don't you really? So, do a reality check. Number two, uh, and you can call this whatever you want, I would just call, consider this uh, focusing, right? But you can call it other things like meditating or gathering chi energy. Just, and don't close your eyes by the way. If you close your eyes, you'll wake up. Keep your eyes open, stare at a point in the distance and just focus. Just tell yourself, right now, I'm making the dream more vivid, clearer, uh, more profound. And you can actually do this with dream commands. You can literally say out loud, increase the clarity and your subconscious dreaming mind will literally do that. It will literally make the dream more clear. So use that as a little hack. Number three, think about what you want to do. And ideally, think about what you want to do before you actually go to sleep uh, at night so that when you do become lucid, you have some idea what the hell you're gonna do. Uh, because if you just enter the lucid dream and run around like a crazy person, A, you'll probably wake up, but B, you won't have any idea about what you're there to do, what your purpose in the dream is. Uh, and by the way, also very important to think about what your purpose and goals are in life. Most of my tips on this channel actually do apply as much to real life as they do to lucid dreams. So, you know, you should definitely consider that. So think about, before you go to sleep, think about what you want to do in a lucid dream. Do you want to connect with a lost loved one or, you know, or friend or something? Do you want to have a specific experience like flying or exploring an alien planet? Do you want to climb a skyscraper? Do you want to you know, have a conversation with someone like a celebrity or a famous person from history. What do you want to do and why, okay? Or maybe you want to do something more practical like practice your driving test or your driving maneuvers or something like this. Whatever you want to do, write it down and really clearly visualize it the night before. So that when you enter the dream, you already know what you're doing, you already know where you should be going and how to get there and that sort of thing. Uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time. And number, I think this is number five, right? Number five, when you wake up, write it down. Not only do you need to write down what you did, but also write down how easy it was to do it, uh, what challenges you faced, you know, did you become lucid straight away or did you have to do several reality checks to get there? Just write it down and see, see what you uh, can look back on. And number six, subscribe to this channel, <laughs> I'm joking. No, there's no number six, uh, but, yeah, but seriously, subscribe to this channel. If you, subscribe to this channel if you want to uh, achieve your lucid goals. If you don't subscribe, did you know that the sleep paralysis uh, experience will actually come and haunt you forever if you don't subscribe? It's a fact. I can actually prove that with science as well. So, see you next time. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.